yes yes massive and crew back once again with another video and today i'm going to share a little thing with you guys that i've been trying to figure out for a little while now and i've finally made some progress with it uh, it's been a little bit awkward it's how to convert an adf file to a floppy disk so that you can stick it in your amiga and you can use it now the thing is is what you're going to need uh, is you're going to need to get a PCMIA adapter like this, yeah, um, on your Amiga, and you also need to have a compact flash card that's compatible. Apparently, the ones with the silver outside, you see the little silver outside there, they're, they're apparently more compatible. I've got a one gigabyte SanDisk one, and that works quite well. Uh, and the whole idea of that is that. Uh, you have to have a compact flash reader for your PC or your Mac. I've actually got one for my Apple Mac. And um, then you download the ADF file onto the compact flash card. And then you put this PCMI A card into your Amiga. Once you put it into your Amiga, uh, you have to have a program, which I believe is in the utilities folder. It came in mine because my Amiga came with WH load. Uh, which had all of the workbench and everything pre-installed on it and um, what I was able to do is use a program called Easy ADF and with Easy ADF you can then uh, recognize your ADF file and then it's got there's an option where you can convert a floppy to ADF or an ADF to floppy and from there you just literally have to write it back to floppy i left all the settings default apart from one one i found that it didn't work unless you uh set it up so that it formats or, uh, before it actually writes once you do that you will have a floppy disk now what you can also remember is you, you've got to use one of the floppy disks that doesn't have the two holes on either side you've obviously got on one side you've got the right protect tab and you've also got a second hole they're like double density and high density uh, this there's different versions of them yeah and all you have to do is if your disc has the two holes you cover over one of these holes and with a bit of sellotape or something like that yeah and i was able to do that and run off uh, a couple of copies of music x which i downloaded in adf you see the sellotapes there as you can see uh, and on that side i was able to write perfectly and the disc has come up on my desktop so i mean there's also another way using cryoflux but that's a little bit more in depth and i haven't quite um, mastered that yet but this is the easiest <sighs> but this is the easiest way to do it so guys um i hope that uh, gives you a, a good insight into it and also for more amiga videos and stuff like that please like share and subscribe and smash that like button if i get to 50 likes i'll upload another amiga video that's it for today take care god bless peace